It has to change. And I think you're seeing stuff like Alice in Chains and Nirvana, a new American pop sense. Uh, bands like Warrior Soul and, and Jane's Addiction that are expanding in a, in a psychedelic area using uh, higher technology and Nine Inch Nails using sequencers and adapting to different things in the genre, but definitely hitting the rock nerve. The nerve that, you know, made Chuck Berry great. The nerve that made Hendrix great. That's the nerve we've got to hit. Otherwise, our, our art form will die. It'll become what jazz became. Uh, you know, great, great players, but no great movements anymore. Hi, y'all. I'm Ricky Rackman from Headbangers Ball America, and this is Vanessa Warwick from Headbangers Ball Europe. And for those of you that are watching it in one of those two countries, what you probably don't realize is that in the other of those two countries that they're also watching us, meaning this is on in Headbangers Ball America and Headbangers Ball in Europe too, right, Vanessa? Yes, Headbangers Ball rules the world, right? <laughs> anyway, we're at the Foundations Forum in Los Angeles. It's the biggest rock and metal convention in the world and there's all sorts of things going on here over the three days and uh, there's loads to see and do lots of people to meet and uh, everybody's having a really really good time aren't they ricky a really really good time exactly hard work as well anyway um i think the best way of showing you some of uh, what's been going on here over the three days is for you to take a look at this it's just got everything that a heavy metal fan could want. It's got an industry day where like people can go and hang out, you know, ask people in bands questions. It's it's a really good idea, and it's getting more and more popular every year. I mean, we get to expose each other to all kinds of rock and roll. That's that's all that matters. It, at this convention, it doesn't really seem to matter whether you're signed or whether you're not signed. You know, it's just a chance for you to, to get up and, and do your thing and have the right people, you know, come out and see what you have to offer to the music. I don't understand why I sleep all day And I start to complain that there's no rain We all come together and there's a meeting of the minds and we all show that, you know, we're one and, and, and together that we're a force to be recognized. Uh, Oh, it's okay, you know, like I said, it's just the business patting itself on the back, you know. I got a free lunch. That must be important. We're pretty much unknown in America, and uh, this is a great starting place. We can be seen by all the right people, all the journalists, all the press people, and, you know, we can hang out and do a few interviews, and it's just a really good starting base. gives me a chance to talk to fans that like the band a lot and I never would really get to talk to them and uh, to be able to try and offer some advice to people who are getting into the business. It just goes to show that hard rock is, is a living force to be reckoned with. Conventions really don't have anything to do with rock and roll. I mean, it's supposed to be anti-conventional, uh, unconventional. Move you! Move you around! on it! There were comments made about that things like this have to happen so as a group people can focus and be together and be strong as one and and I think that's happening without conventions like this. I think I think that's happening at the shows. <laughs> It's all because of the fans. If without them, found the forum, foundation forum would probably wouldn't even exist because of the underground. That the underground started a while ago, and foundations forum started after that. So, I, to me, I think we owe it more to the kids than anything. I just know that there's good music, and there's a lot of good music that's coming out that's very heavy and aggressive, and it's going to keep continuing to do so. And 
this is going to be a trend that's going to continue, and metal will rule. It's all because of the music. I mean, there's really good music coming out all of a sudden. Thank goodness. And, and the future can only be determined by how the music progresses and, and what the future of good songs are. Hi, I'm Vanessa Warwick of Headbangers Ball on MTV Europe. And I'm Ricky Rackman from the Headbangers Ball in the US of A. And we're here at the Concrete Foundations Forum in Los Angeles, the biggest rock and roll convention in the world. I think it's the only rock and roll heavy metal convention there is. I mean, this thing is pretty wild. If, if those of you, you know, we've said a little bit what it is before. It's all these different things of all aspects of the music industry set up booths and they have seminars and people speak of every, I mean, have you seen any of the people speak yet or been running around busy? No, we've been too busy really, haven't yeah. we? But there's all sorts of things going on, as Ricky's saying. And one of the uh, most important things is um, the opportunity for new bands to, to be seen by all the right people. Definitely, if you're a new band, you know, rock and roll has become so much business oriented that if you're in a new band, you can meet people here from the major merchandise companies, you can meet attorneys, you can meet managers, you can meet record labels. So for years, you've only seen these names on the back of albums or business cards. Now you can go up and meet these people and, you know, it's really good if you're a new band starting out, learning about the business aspect of rock and roll because it is, you know, really business oriented now. So it's very, very positive for all of the rock industry. And of course, there are showcases going on. We've had Alice in Chains, Prong, Soundgarden, all kinds of things. But uh, right now... The Almighty. The Almighty. <laughs> but right now, we're going to take a look at some of the new bands who have been creating a buzz at this year's Foundations Forum in Los Angeles. Take a look. Hello, America. How you been? We're life, sex, and death. Destruction with a good melody. The Stanley is a genius. I would recommend that you don't miss a move the man makes. A lot of people give us flack because maybe he doesn't look like David Lee Roth or something like that, but uh, by the same token, uh, this is rock and roll. You make it up as you go along, you know? Basically, we're suburban white alcoholic trash. We ain't glam. We ain't thrash. Boo. <laughs> We sort of like to make fun of ourselves and in front of the whole world, and especially uh, suburbia, which is what, what we know. You know what I mean? We know that better than anything else, so that's what we write about. You know, we're not going to write about driving around in Harleys because all we've got is scooters, so. music is smooth and deadly. And it's just plain four letter words, MASH. M-A-S-H. Yeah. Yeah. Fly Melon is a very, is a very unique swirly. sound of swirly, southern, psychedelic, um, give you a flashback kind of music. I wouldn't make any judgments until you hear it. Because if you like heavy metal, you may like it. If you like R.E.M., you may like it. Um, if you like old traffic, stuff like that, you, you probably will like it, actually. Do we just play from the heart and not, you know, from any place else? Headbangers Ball coming to you from the Concrete Foundations Forum in Los Angeles, where for the first time in its four-year history, the convention is holding an awards ceremony to honor all aspects of hard rock and heavy metal music. Now, there are 12 categories ranging from best hard rock band right through to best album art, and there's even a very special Lifetime Achievement Award which this year has been awarded to Ozzy Osbourne. 
Now, as you'd expect, it's a glittering occasion with guest presenters and live performances from the likes of Megadeth and Alice in Chains. And the whole event is hosted by none other than our very own Ricky Rackman. The only thing that we can promise is that Arsenio Hall will not be here and REM will win no awards. I like, I like this in particular just because the awards are these disgusting looking skulls, you know, and, and uh, so I wouldn't mind winning one just for that. But these go to 11. What, he's got teeth? He's got no lips, he's got teeth. more money to do this and they were gonna pay the Beatles for a reunion. Anybody see it? A piece of food just fly out of my mouth when I was saying that. And the winner is Napalm Death, how many corruption? Thank, because without them, we wouldn't be where we're at. Three times would never have happened. He got me through rehab, and I love you. Still on location at Concrete Foundations Forum 91. Right now, we're hanging out in the Metal Edge booth, which is one of the fine magazines represented here at Foundations Forum. Check it out. We've been talking to Tom Araya of Slayer, been talking to brand new band Blind Melon, been talking to the guys from Soundgarden. These are all these bands that hang out at these things. They get to meet people, different magazine people, different merchandise people, and also a lot of the artists get to play here. So it's a very, very cool thing. And they do it every year. I've been to every year that they've had these foundations form, and they get bigger and bigger and bigger, and who knows what's going to be happening here next year. And it also just shows what the future of metal is, because the future of metal just keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So stick around, because the Headbangers Ball is here at Foundations Forum 91. You have been tuned through the Headbangers Ball, coming to you from the Concrete Foundations Forum in Los Angeles. And Prong are showcasing live behind me. I caught up with them earlier. And something I quickly wanted to tell you, Prong are responsible for the music in our bumpers and opening and closing titles. And the closing titles are going to be coming up real soon because we have reached the end of our coverage. I just want to say thank you to Ricky Ragman. What? Thank you. Oh, I want to say you. thank what? you very much for uh, um, helping me oh, out this on the show. This has been great. We've been having a really good time hanging We have. It's this thing great. has been a good event. And Prong in the background, and it's nice working together, and we'll yeah. probably do it again sometime in some bizarre country or something like that.